I started believing everything. I, my eyes are closed. I can't, I don't know the truth. And, and, and waking up to it is not an easy process. But on the other side of the veil, we contracted this in. And he, he agreed to help me through this. So here in the physical, not remembering any of that until a specific time of my life, not remembering it. And then coming along and, and literally, he, 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 he didn't lure me. He, I fell head over heels. He was the first man I've ever truly loved. He was the first man who ever really made me feel my body and feel the connection, mind, body, and soul. I had the best, um, I had the best epiphany, epiphanies at his house with someone who's completely close-minded and doesn't believe in any of that, but at the same time was born like that, was born like that and, and understood it, but just couldn't talk about it. I know I am his, his, I know he'll always love me as much as I will always love him. I mean, I can't stop talking about him. I could be pretty and being hit on and you know what? The first thing that comes out of my head is, and my mouth is, Frank, 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 Frank. So I get the whole, you can't control other people, but you can control you. And everything is like open book for me. And I don't feel that from him, especially when, he denies, he denies, and I, I, I'm an intuitive person, I can tune into anybody, anybody I choose to at the moment where I did, and that's very private, that's very, you can't do that for the wrong reasons, you can't tune in for something, tune into somebody just to find out if they're saying the truth of what they said, no, you need to tune into people to feel the energy to be able to help them, not to use it to your own advantage. A lot of men use that, use that vulnerability to fuck. And trust me, I know. A couple hit a wall with me, eh, Fournier? Yeah. He did hit a wall with me. He hit a fucking huge wall with me. And I hope he'll learn from that and start to learn to respect himself and to respect life itself. I miss a lot of people in my life. But I chose to seclude myself to really hear my little inner voice, being that I didn't have parents and all, and, and being that I was traumatized so much, and I saw my mom stab a guy, and I mean, being that uh, my brain program was completely shattered really young. And given the fact that, you know, five years of your first five years of your life are completely important, are completely, like, valuable to the outcome of your whole life. Really. I uh, registered to a seminar about three weeks ago um, when I thought I knew it was for me. I can't. I can't spend my life another second to a nine to five job at minimum wage. I'd rather live in the streets and go to seminars and find a way to become a motivational speaker, a life coach, and a singer, which I already have my band and I have a team and they help me a lot and they appreciate me and I appreciate them. I mean, like, it's all a teamwork. We're not alone. <sighs> My higher self did um, remind me that, you know, nothing's gone unforgotten and that my work is being rewarded. And that does feel good. <laughs> it really does feel good to hear it. And at the same time, to feel deserving of it. It's so amazing. It feels good to me to be able to see the process not just live it but be aware of it and seeing it and then documenting it so we can learn from it and compare this is what learning's all about they give adhd like medication to kids but it's illegal as an adult to take that who's who's the mafia again who's that like who who's who what huh so all those good people that portray good things are just dangling a prize in front of you to trap your soul just like everybody else just like anything in this world money piece of paper do you think i need a piece of paper if everything if like like the emp goes out do you think i'm gonna go to the store with my five dollars and buy myself a bag of milk you better have a fucking cow or know someone who does Cause shit's gonna get real soon. And if you're not in the right place and you're still living a lie with your own ego and you're not looking through the eyes of your heart and you're fucked with no orgasms. <laughs> so 20 minutes. I know I'm doing these long runs. I'll cut them in pieces. Whoever wants to listen will listen and 
Really? I don't give a shit. I'm not doing it for people. I'm doing it for me. Because I can't talk to people. I can't continue giving my rage to people. Like, I just bluntfully fucking yelled at my roommate for for something that's, like... Like, I'm yelling at her about a situation. And I'm like, I'm so sorry. I can't. It's so frustrating. How can somebody do that to you or say these things to you? Like, it's, it's frustrating to me. Because he's mirroring something. And I see myself. I see my truth through everything he's done and what he's saying and I'm and what I'm living with my separation with my man they're so similar <laughs> manipulation wow we're entering into the feminine divinity part of time where men are going to fucking take their place and sit the fuck down cuz now we're running the show really and if you look and you do a little bit of research you'll find out that that's true we just got out of the, the, since the 21st of December, 2012, we just got out of the masculine energy. We're going back into the, the feminine one and we're taking lead and we're going to fucking advance so much quicker than you guys. And you guys are going to follow until the next, how many years of a cycle, million and eons and lifetimes and whatnot. That's fine. I'm going to pick a card for today. Cause I feel like <laughs> this, this message is way better than last night's. I was so depressed. I lost my friend. I lost my partner. I lost my friend, and I'm I'm doing this on per, I'm doing this not on purpose, but I'm doing this because I, I felt like I was betrayed. I was betrayed by your trust. I was betrayed. You lied to my face. You were texting her dirty, naughty, na nasty things. You did have put in your house, drinking beer, wanting to fuck you, even when you knew she wanted you, and you still did talk to Natalie and lied and said you didn't. So, you're missing the whole point. You could have just told me you wanted to fuck them all and I would have let you. Do you understand that? Your heart, your mind, and your cock are three different parts of your body. You are one with all. And you perceive things the way you want. And I will perceive things the way I want. I'm never getting into a serious relationship unless that person is a spitting image of me, <laughs> like mirror, Im mirror image of me with the same perceptions and the same mind where we agree that these are three different things. You can still respect yourself and have a partner and still sleep with different people. However you discuss it, it has to be done in respect. Everyone, some people won't want that. Some people want one person and that's fine. I want a woman and I want a man. Because a woman is so soft and so sensual and a man is just so rough and so... Uh, so you need it. I am one, but I'm both. So I need both. <laughs> like, I'm just too complicated. My life experience and my life path brought me to understand I need a woman and I need a man. And that's my belief and that's what I want. You might want something else and that's okay. But just because you're wrong or you're doing an error doesn't make you have to follow along and pretend. You can get up and say, no, that's enough. I'm getting up and I'm, I'm not pretending this. This is not what I want. And they might not like that and they might not react the way and you might be scared shitless of that reaction, but it's still needed. You got yourself in the mess or the, the beautifulness that your life is and that's all on you, always. For good or for bad, for worse or for... See, so that those vows should be taken for yourself. You know what I mean? And I just did a song about that. And, uh, yeah, so I just want to say I'm grateful. I'm grateful to have my team. I'm grateful to feel home in a certain way because I never felt home for a long time. And just having a team, I feel home. I could be anywhere in the world as long as I have that team. Because people are, are, are going to come in challenges. People are going to come in waves. And they're going to prove to you who you are by just being the opposite of you. And to test you and comfort you. And some will come around and probably just give you one word. And it will fucking download a shitload of information in your brain. And you'll feel uncond unconditional love like that, you know? My team is here. And I love them with all my heart. Oh, look at that. Okay, so the first, um, I'm going to pick three. So it's saying, it's card number one. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Oh, yeah, traveling. Okay, so it literally says, it's, it's time to try different adventures. Walk with your head up high, because we are here with you. I think that's a great card. 
like tent new adventures try things you've never tried before that's awesome so i hope next time i'm gonna blog i'm gonna blog about it so yeah i, I actually am gonna do so i don't know yet but i will try to do something like that oh okay so avance avec confiance et nous sommes avec vous you have to try new things It's card number one. I don't know where my little book here is. I got a lot of books here everywhere. Let's see. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know where my book is. I will look that up. Oh, I think I fell here. No. Damn it! Damn it! I don't know what that new thing is going to be in my life, but I will definitely try it. For now, I'm going to focus. I need to realign and reorder to hold my vision and to focus, to dissolve the chaos in your life. You must come to the crossroad, the final dispersal. And that's funny because it's number 13, which is transformation, death card, which is also the end of a cycle, which we are at the beginning of a new one. <laughs> right now we are anyway. So. I think that was pretty cool. We all have different ways of perceiving and reading them, and sharing is caring. The more you share, the better you can come to trust your own instincts and trust your own voice that you were not even sure at the first place. Is that my voice or is that not my voice? I literally had to move out of town and, 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 and literally the universe had to short bus, yellow short bus clue me in because I was like, they were taking my cell phones away, they were breaking them at anything like I've went through so many phones in the last year to come to realize I need to not have a phone <laughs> because I'm f like I could feel everybody's thoughts I could feel their emotion I could feel their pain all of a sudden I'd be aggressive and it's because I'm too sensitive to the energy around me so I don't have a cell phone I don't even have a home phone I don't even have an address <laughs> people can't find me anywhere I'm where I am when I am and that's all that matters right so let's pick a second card I, this is the first time I do this, like this, but I think it's necessary because, yeah, that's the French in me. I think, um, I, I, I kind of refuse to read my card. I have so many different types of cards, and I refuse to uh, read or do readings at this time because I need to focus on the task at hand, and that's making my band and getting my career off. Like, that's literally what I want to do. I want to talk about abuse. I want to talk about addiction. I want to talk about how I link them up. And I want to talk about how you shouldn't feel bad for the things you want in life. And you shouldn't hide them either. If you're living a lie, you're living the lie. No one else has to pay for that fucking lie. Number 29. So we got a 129. And that here, it says to concentrate on the positive. Because you know there's a lot of it. <laughs> That's a funny card. Um, being a solar 22, manifesting, uh, a master builder, manifesting everything we think, it is very crucial as a soul urge number 22, meaning that we are master builders of this universe. Look it up if you don't understand. I'm, I'm done wasting time explaining or justifying to anybody. That's not my job. You don't believe it, that's fine. But I've done my research and I looked up information and documentations of numerology and and those are people that are hey did you know an astrologist went to school for 13 fucking years come on that's a long time to be astrophysicists and scientists you need to have that brain to be able to do that dude so really i i i trust what i have in my head in my heart and i'm gonna concentrate on the positive meaning like so much has been going on lately even the bad is good like all the bad outcomes or the bad shitty crap that that surfaces in my life is still so 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 positive because the outcome of it it leads it's like following the breadcrumbs right all right so here's another one <laughs> we're at 30 minutes i love talking don't you see <laughs> i'm definitely gonna go to that female motivational speaker thing and ugh, all week I was like, I was, I was literally not posting anything about that 